Hey guys, so in this video, um, I'm, I split, I'm gonna split this up. Um, hopefully you can see me down here. I did all of the signs, um, they're up above there. I still have five left. I'm gonna be doing place markers for the pentagram. Now, technically a pentagram is fire, earth, air, water, and spirit, but I wanna make sure that my elemental symbols are in north, south, east, and west, and then I'm going to put the pentagram out further than those. Um, the reason why we use a pentagram to symbolize fire, earth, air, water, and spirit is because of the Hermetica. Um, or, uh, it's, it's this picture right here, this one. I'll try and stick one on the screen. It says, the impact of the Hermetica on the Renaissance philosophy was enormous. Here was an ancient body of theological, magical, and uh, medical writings of extraordinary beauty, intellectual power, and spiritual authority in which Jews, Christians, and Muslims could find confirmations, amplifications, and refinement of their own sacred teachings. In the Hermetica, the creation myth becomes much more richer, uh, more detailed, and, more, uh, and a more expressive allegory and awesome alchemical process. Hermes, described as the man, the great miracle capable of achieving godhood as the individual by transcending the stages of uh, being that separate him from the divine. The man is dignified as being truly made in the image of God, being the um, microcosm that reflects him, the like, uh, macrocosm. This is emphasized by Hermes' great diatom as above, so below, with its, correlated, uh, cor with its correlate as within, so without. Everything in creation finds its reflection in man. Therefore, he, as, uh, he has at his disposal all the tools needed to achieve the divine destiny, should he choose to accept it. So that is where we get the normal like pentagram um, symbols and diagrams in, where you get you know fire, earth, air, water, and then spirit being the actual person or the crown, um, depending on you know if you follow chakras or not. So the pentagram does symbolize all four elements as well as spirit. Um, a pentacle is without a circle. These will be done on oak blocks, so they're within a circle, so these are technically a pentagram. But a pentacle usually has a pentagram on one side. As a result, it is often misnamed pentacle. Uh, a synonym for pent uh, pentangle or pentagram, pentangle means five angles, being a five-pointed star. The pentangle, however, means all angles. Being a disc-shaped like solid wheel, the pentangle is the magical implement of the element earth. It represents the body and most material factors of life and correspond to the north, which the archangel Uriel defends. And then it, it says, um, you know, it talks about how to make a pentacle, uh, it talks about like the five points of the star, how to invoke one uh, for the different symbols, that kind of thing. And then in the Celtic magic book that I have from DJ Conway, it says um, the pentagram is a five pointed star with one upward point as a spirit symbol used in Wicca and other pagan rituals. The earliest example of the pentagram we found among the ancient Babylonian relics. Christians who had since denounced its application used it for centuries to represent five wounds of Christ, also known to the, um, as the Druid's foot, Wizard's foot, Witch's foot, Goblin's cross. The pentagram can be inscribed even invisibly on doors and windows um, to, stabs of, uh, to stave off evil. This symbol was painted on Sir Gawain's shield. A potent form of the pentagram is a fossilized stem of sea lily. So it's, it really is a representation of all five of the elements, um, unless you, I think it's Chinese magic that uses metal instead of spirit. So um, there's differentiations between where you live in the world and what path you follow, that kind of thing. So like I did with the painting of the symbols for each of the four elements, I'm going to just use what paint I have in the tray that isn't dry because
Hey guys, so in this one I am painting the wheel of, um, some people call it the wheel of life, some people call it the wheel of the year. Usually there's symbols that go in each of the spokes, but uh, yeah, this one was rather quick. And hopefully you enjoy. Let me know what you think down below. See ya.